Howdy friends, Sunday the 15th of September 2019, it's ten past one in the afternoon. Now, I dedicate this Dirty Clouds video to David Yates, whether he likes it or not. I've been inspired and motivated to play a bigger, more physical role in fighting the chemical rot. That's boots on the street, so to speak. David has been relentlessly active in the pursuit of highlighting chemtrails to the masses, most of which are under the influence of pure ignorance through lethargy and stupidity, and of misinformation which comes right from the top of the pyramid, bottom of the sewer. This major health and safety risk that we are forced to endure, it's not just humans, either, it's, it's all life. It needs to be addressed. Focus with the haze, it's sort of like focusing on something outside of a window with smeared, smeared glass. Doesn't want to focus on. Take a little mince up the road a minute. Up in that direction to the field. And I can get a better look from 
A, high, a higher position and B, with a more open scape because I'm surrounded here so I can't see the horizon. Okay. Okie dokie friends, it's 18... <coughs> 1840, which is 20 to 7, British summertime. Um, I'm just going to go for a little walk where I can see a, a horizon or an horizon. I'm currently walking up the street. Litter. And just to see if I can get 10 or 15 minutes of what lies over where I'm actually living. I've got a field I use. I'm sort of living on the outskirts of the official outskirts of Taunton. The metropolops of Taunton, Somerset, so I'm quite fortunate now I can get out of the big smoke for a little smoke. And if I refrain from saying anything, I can speed this journey up both of my feet. And the video playback knob. Just come up to the motorway bridge, motorway flyover. Oh, oh, oh. Mayhem. Mayhem. Sun is setting over, that's heading towards Exeter, the M5, M5 to Exeter. Sun is setting over there. over there look free to a good home one full of lead well no not lead now aluminium where well, everything's full of aluminium and pesticides and round up that's where I'm heading There. This is a field. I like this field. It's pretty not. It's not far off of the St Michael's Way line. And you get a big sort of expanse of view. That looks like it's coming out quite dim, that. The earth. Why is that gone? Anyway. So the sun comes up around about... There-ish. The moon makes its appearance as well there. The highest point around seems to be... There and over the other side, there will be a better vantage point for a sunrise and a moonrise. Okay. 
Okay. That's looking the motorway just there, over that bridge, uh, that embankment of trees, that bank of trees. You can hear it. Kind of runs all the way along. Keep the noise down, I guess. <sighs> anyway, so what I'm up here specifically for is just to get an overall view of from a distance really. My home is in that direction, I imagine, sort of down round about here, just over here, behind obviously, we just walked over that. So what I'm gonna do is set up and just do a time lapse or something and a chat perhaps. Okay friends, sun setting or getting further away, whichever it is. <clears throat> That's a scratch on the lens. Well scratches. I'm just gonna pan around and show you that's the direction I just walked from. So the gate is down there and it looks out across Taunton town, which is that sort of direction, and then all the way around. That's again, that's that highest point there. Beyond that is flat plain according to Go Ogle Earth. Okay, friends, we've got Taunton, Great Expanse, we've got the M5, the motorway, this is the bridge over the motorway that we walked over on the roundabout here, this is where the field is, and this tiny little lump here is the tiny little lump really that's obscuring the view to what appears to be a, a, a long long expanse of vision so <clears throat> that is called stoke wood i believe yes yeah, stoke wood and Let's have a little zoom in on where I am. And it's around about, I'll zoom in a bit more. It's around about here. Okay. And we'll take a look at that lump, if I can find it. There it is. Okay, so this lump does obscure vision. The sun comes kind of like through here. So if we can get around anywhere around here and I've already assessed the route so <clears throat> that is the lump 
Stoke Wood. So I'm going to take a, d a dive out there at some point in life, hopefully, unless I die beforehand. I'm going to spin around, spin around. So the sunrise again is sort of there. Sends a screenish up to there. It's been known, it does move. It's all sun getting closer to us. I haven't quite worked it out yet. I don't know who to believe. And then back to the sunset. And that's why I specifically come to this point because. I can see the sunset from here. Now let's have a pan and see what's happening up the, above the heavens. I'll spin around. And I just want something that I can sort of speed up really. That's about the best. Now, there is a haze, there is a haze, um, but hey, what can we do about it? digress well <coughs> there's obviously a smog some might call it a ground mist or a mist only I think there is a smog that effect here. In effect. Chem smog. Chemog. A chemog. Okie doke, well this is with the little macro, oh, but ah, the little macro on. A lot of times, having the macro off in the haze is a is you get a bit, there is a better result, and this is with it on. I know it's struggling there.
that's actually must be almost there by now. That's back zoomed back in. Now let's have a look at what's happening above. If there's any development around here. Sounds nice. Now going on there is there well the pan around the sun is now s -s -s setting let's just zoom around and gaze at the sun okay which is setting now here we have the leading trail of this huge long cloud system Gray. The sun is setting. Now the leading edge, this is grey. There's no sunshine whatsoever on the underside or I imagine the top because if it was, I suppose there'd be an orange tinge, which there isn't apart from this leading edge here. Okay. And that's not coming out terribly well. Better. There's our leading edge. It's just starting to go that sort of crappy beige. The sun is dipped beyond the top level of the... Which I, I believe that to be... The cloud there. I'm not sure whether there's land there. We're talking about this grey not the grey bottom half but uh, is Oh, so there we go. So what? That is either the horizon, or I think that's max zoom. There we go. Right. Really trying to prove anything there. And now the, the tinge on this bleeding edge of the cloud has disappeared. I'm sure if that's coming out. I think that'll um <clears throat> and now if I'm gonna gaze down here just to see if the sun